we'll talk with Travis Trice there at halftime. What was going on there? Did that help at all? Yeah, he was just telling me, you know, what the defense was giving me, you know, and, you know, how to, what, what spots to attack, and he was just telling me to be more aggressive. Uh, I feel like I was being passive in the first half. So, yeah, he was just telling me to be more aggressive. Brandon, another good game. 17 boards. Way to come alive there. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, what, uh, what got you going? Just uh, effort plays, you know, hustle plays. And uh, I wasn't really doing too well with the ball in my hands offensively, so I figured I'd just go get it. Um, rebounds, putbacks, uh, things like that. And that allowed me to uh, get going and uh, just uh, go out of rebounds. 17 boards. <laughs> We heard you, Trey, on that national team interview for ESPN kind of talk about coming together as a team and being able to kind of start that comeback. From a player's point of view on the court, how does that comeback happen? Is it fast plays? Is it good defense? How do you build and start that comeback? I mean, I think it's all that together, you know, just making plays as a team. Uh, you know, we got the same brotherhood over basketball. So just staying together throughout the game and just fighting back the whole, the whole game. Yeah, tag along to that. It's just a, it's a team effort. I mean, it, I mean, you look at this, and everyone is out there fighting. Everyone believes, and that, that's kind of the key word is just to believe. I mean, you look up and we're down 15, and you could either just you know roll over and let them beat you by 25, or you can uh, you know make a conscious effort to just go out there and uh, get the lead back. And, and it happens over time. It's not just a you know one play kind of thing. It's just a consistent efforts to get that lead back and take control. Trey, what, Trey, what did you guys do on uh, Davis? I mean, he didn't go all black. He usually goes off at 35. Mm. I mean, I, I wasn't really guarding them. They were trying to get okay. me switched off of them. But, I mean, I guess he just wasn't making shots this game. But, I mean, we were just making it as tough as possible and, you know, trying to force tough shots from them. Grant, the big play was that foul and then the tech on the coach. Was that a legitimate? Did the guy hit you? What did it feel like from your end? Yeah, I mean, he got me on the arm, but I was going to go down the other end if they didn't call it. You know, uh, you just got to kind of uh, roll with those sometimes. But they gave me the call, and I'm, I'm obviously happy about it. And that, uh, it's kind of a big swing in uh, momentum, especially for uh, it kind of calmed them down a little bit. Touch on the Antoine Davis defense. Uh, no line just noticed that you were guarding him a lot throughout the entire game. Uh, what were you trying to do to try to keep him off his balance? It seemed like some of it worked out pretty well. I was trying to use my uh, link to my advantage, trying to get him to take me to the rim, and I, I still didn't do a very good, you know, very good job of. To be honest with you, he still had a lot of shots over me. But uh, I mean, it's just. Uh, I don't know, man. It's just effort sometimes. You just got to get out there and fight. When momentum changes like that, can you sense them starting to get tight or just that they can feel it slipping away and it kind of mm -hmm. seems like... Yeah, you can kind of tell. You know, you can look at the coaches, look at the players. You know, they got their heads down and they're arguing. So uh, we, can, we can use that to our advantage. Yeah, While we were in here uh, waiting for you guys to come in, you heard a big yell from the locker room. You guys are obviously very happy with the win. What does this... Not not just a win at home, but a momentum win, one where it really felt like you earned it at the very end. What does that do for a team kind of coming into, I guess, the second half of the season? Yeah, you know, we got to take this energy uh, from this game and we got another game Sunday. Uh, we got a good Oakland team coming in. We got to continue this energy into the next game and just uh, game by game. You know, we can't look as far as, you know, we have a long season left. We have to one, one by time. And that's going to be the key to uh, getting wins and uh, getting back up in the conference standings. Speaking of Oakland, uh, it seems they beat NKU in a final sort of moment as well, just to let you know. Oakland beat? Yep, or the Oakland beat NKU. Interesting. It's harder to get. I, I, I didn't see the stats. I think you're 18 and 17 or something like that, right? Or, so what's well, harder to get, 17 boards or 18 points? I'm going to honestly say 17 rebounds. That's a, that's a tough number to get because a lot of times it kind of relies on being in the right spot at the right time, and I felt like that uh, – it, just, it seemed to happen a lot for me tonight, so grateful for that. Well, good win, Coach. Yeah, anyway, it, it good win. Yeah. I mean, and, and, you know, but I, I think for our team and our confidence, you know, that that's going to be, uh, you know, if, if, if we have a turning point in the season, hopefully this will be it for us. And, uh, you know, I think we were on the verge of really kind of emotionally caving which we've done in the past. And, uh, uh, you know, our kids, we, we had one time out and just calmly talked about it. And they, they came out and responded, Trey responded. Uh, and, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a typical game where we can play a couple bigs, they, they, they played small. And so, you know, we had to play small, our guards played a lot more, our bigs played less. Uh, you know, playing Brandon at the five sometimes is beneficial for us defensively, it makes us quicker. We, you know, we weren't great defensively. 
we were better in the second half, which is unusual for us. Usually in the first mm -hmm. half, we're better. In the second half, we're not very good. We, we kind of flipped that. Um, but mo mostly just happy our kids did okay. That I, I think yeah. that was the most important thing for us. I think that we're kind of right, 36 points in the last nine minutes or so. Yeah, I, I was the offensive coach tonight. So Coach Sargent was the defensive coach. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you're down uh, 15 points twice. Uh, what was the determining factor in that game? Finally, getting some stops. I mean, you can't you can't make runs. You can't, and and we're not very good offensively if we're not getting stops. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, early, early in the early in the second half, they weren't scoring. We weren't scoring. We we didn't make any right. shots. Everything was short, short, short. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they started scoring, and we didn't. And uh, but but the only way you can make runs. In basketball, is to to make sure that you get stops, and and uh, we did that. And I, I think the other things we got to the free throw line, and we shot mm -hmm. we shot it pretty well from the free throw line. And you know, Brandon Brandon dominated the glass in the second half, which mm -hmm. was really big for us. Coach, going back to that sequence where Noel got fouled going up on the shot, and uh, Coach Davis picked up a technical. What did that little sequence mean for your guys' uh, push late in the second half? Well, there? I think it was a six-point game. We made four free throws. It's obviously a big swing. Um, and, you know, I, 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 I didn't see – in other words, I didn't have Mike's vantage point, and I, I, don't, I wasn't really watching the play. I just heard the whistle. Um, uh, you know, so it, it, was a, it, it was a big swing. I mean, to get four points in a play is pretty important. And, and we were making a push there, and it was getting tighter. And, uh, you know, I thought I thought Tim hit a big three for us, which was was huge. And, and then Andrew came down and hit a really big kind of turnaround shot for us. It was nice to see him respond. So it, it, it was fun to watch some guys that we haven't been leaning on. Like Alex had a great first half. Mari played really good the first half. You know, I, I think he's close to really starting to turn a corner. So we're we're getting to where we want to get. This is going to help our confidence. Uh, but. You know these games come fast, and and all the teams are good, and and I, and I think Oakland won tonight, so so they're coming in with a lot of confidence too. You said you were the offensive coach tonight. Uh, just wanted to touch on the defense for a couple seconds. Yeah. Uh, what was the game plan for Antoine Davis coming into the game, and then how did that evolve? It well, like you were switching people out. Or yeah, something. I mean, there's only so much you can do. Really, I mean, there, there just is. There's only. He's going to shoot the ball, and even if you have two people on him, he can shoot the ball. You definitely don't want to foul him. I mean, we ended up doing that way too much in the second half. He's just going to get some shots. He just, you know, it, it, the way I always think about it is if he's going to score 25 points, I want him to take 25 shots, and, and we'll live with that. We'll live with that. But what we don't want him doing is taking 13 shots and scoring 25 points because we fouled him and we didn't contest threes. And uh, so, uh, you know, I – we. We, we did okay. I mean, he got we got 27 points. He took 25 shots. And if, if we hadn't fouled him, then then we really guarded him well. So, uh, you know, we'll live with that. I, I thought, you know, the one the guy that really hurt us was Stone. I mean, you know, we uh, uh, he just looked at us and went one-on-one -on -one with us and ate us up. And, and he was the one we had a hard time stopping. Hey. We had, you know, the other thing is only eight turnovers. Of course, they only had eight two, but but we've been turning the ball over quite a bit, and to have eight turnovers tonight against a pretty active zone is was big for us. Looking at Sunday's game uh, against Oakland, what's the, kind of the big lesson you can take from tonight's comeback win? Uh, you know, I, I think just you know don't just don't get overly discouraged. You know, it, it's very easy to give in to discouragement. It, it is for me, and um, uh, you know, one, one of the things I've been talking to Trey about not not just today. But but obviously Trey's pretty important to our team, and and he he can he has a tendency to get discouraged, uh, but but so do I, and I can get pretty negative very quickly, and and so I've, I've just been talking to him about you know I, I need you to change our team needs you to change but they need me to change too and so let's do this thing together let's let's you know I'll I'll work on being more positive I need you when things aren't going well to not not cave to discouragement. And, and the team needs me not to get negative when things don't go well. And so let's do the same together. And I, I, 
be honest with you, I was, I was pretty positive all night, which I'm thankful for. It's probably the Holy Spirit for me. Uh, but but I got after Trey a little bit uh, because I felt like he was starting to give in to that. And I said, hey, I mean, this is what we've been talking about. Let's go. And then he got going. 